All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and A double honor is unto the elders and apostles of JMS Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to you, Aki, and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And our first precept I want to start off with is coming from the book of Proverbs 10 and uh, verse 7. And it reads, um, it says, The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. And so this scripture, as you know, is um, basically, you know, doing a, a comparison uh, versus, you know, the righteous to the wicked, right? It says, the memory of the just is blessed. Now, we understand that this scripture that I'm about to grab here, coming from the book of Ecclesiastes 7, at the top, it says, a good name is better than precious ointment. Hey, because we understand that hey, who you are and the legacy that you leave uh, on this side, according to the works done, good or bad, is going to determine, you know, um, status and a uh, legacy in the kingdom, man. And that's why when we go into the book of, um, matter of fact, um, uh, I'm going to grab this really quick. Everlasting content. Daniel 12 and 2. It says, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, right? Others, uh, it's like it, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting content, right? So that shows you forth that a, the, the decisions and or, or really, um, as you call it, uh, predestination, um, le the predestination you have uh, on this side, you know, leads to the, the, the legacy in the kingdom, man. That's why... And the two thirds are gonna wake up to that everlasting shame and content. A while the 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 one third and the elect. And the scriptures say, "Hey, not all of you should taste the death." Hey, but you. Um, matter of fact, I gotta go there too, man. This is First Corinthians, the fifteenth chapter. Yeah, just I actually just read it. It's uh, First Corinthians fifteen. And um. So lucky. This is um. So like here. I'm going to start here at 15 and uh, 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, meaning we shall not all die. It says, um, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed, right? Because it's talking about being um, saved or delivered. A by the chariot before the uh, or right when the nukes is coming down, you know, the elect will be beamed out of here. It says in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. Right. Talking about a physical, mental and spiritual change, man. All in the same time. Hey, how do we know? Because the scripture says hey, that our hearts of stone will be turned turned into hearts of flesh. We're going to be made perfect. We're going to be given a perfect body. A, and uh, the, the spirit in which is never able to, to go off. It will never be able to lose against the flesh again, right? Um, it says, at the moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible, right? Because we understand the scripture calls a, our, our, our bodies, you know, um, um, the chains of darkness. It says, for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal, right? Mortal meaning able to die. So like you. Yeah. And this mortal must put on immortality. Meaning what? Uh, unable to die, man. <clears throat> it says, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of the sin, or the strength of sin is the law. Right? So to go back to the point um, we're reading um, before this, I was in uh, Daniel 2 and 12. Before that, I was in um, Ecclesiastes 7, right? So I'm going to go back to that in Ecclesiastes 7, right? Because it says a good name is better than precious ointment, right? And those that have that good name or those whose name is going to have a, a good uh, standing within the heavens or that good legacy are the elect, man. Those that stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, those who endured unto the end and that were saved, those who were found worthy, uh, those who were covered by the blood of the Lamb of Yahweh Shai, man. So to go back to the book of Proverbs 10, it's a lot. It's back in Proverbs 10 and uh, 7. It reads, the memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. Right. And we have examples and accounts of these men whose uh, their memories or their legacies are blessed, man. You know. 
And um, it's we can keep going to all of our forefathers, uh, you know, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, uh, and then the most important, Yahweh Shai, you know, King Solomon, King David, uh, the apostles, you know, uh, uh, the three holy children, uh, Ananias, Azarius, and Messiah, you know, um, uh, Eleazar, you know, we can we can continue to go, the Maccabees brothers, uh, Joshua, Caleb, you know, all of these men, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah, all these men whom are written of the scriptures, hey, they have that good name, man. Their name is found written within the heavens. Uh, Ezra, you know? So, um, reading this, it says, the memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. Right, your legacy is, is going to be uh, of nothing, man. Really, is going to be uh, negative. Hey, because you're going to be seen as one of those hey, who bowed down into the image of the beast and received of his mark. That's where that everlasting shame and content comes from. But I want to go into this word blessed, right? Because it's going to bring up a word, a benediction. This is H1293. It says blessing, blessing, prosperity, praise of the most high, right? A gift of present. It says benediction, blessing. Uh, here we go right here. A blessing, benediction, invocation of good as of a father about to die, right? And when you go into that precept, matter of fact, I believe that's in second address. Um... No, so like, um, Sirach 13, or is it 11? Left one, like himself. Because it connects to this precept as well. 30, so like it. Um, <clears throat> right here, it says a blessing, vindication, or ben benediction, so like it. Invocation of good as a father about to die, right? Now, when we go here to Sirach 30, uh, I'm going to start at the top. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at three. He that teaches the son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Though his father die, yet he is as though he were not dead, for he hath left one behind like him. Left one behind him that is like himself. And it's spiritual because, hey, we understand um, Yahweh Shai hey, uh, left us the comforter. Hey, so whereas like uh, many Yahweh Shai's in a sense, you know. Because what we're doing the will of Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, man, or the will of Yahweh Shai, man. Right? It says, um, hey, because these are the same uh seven thousand men who will not bow the knee into the image of Baal. These are the same men whom Yahweh Shai prayed for, whom his blood covers. Right? And that's why he said, and if heirs then joint heirs with him in the kingdom. And I call you not friends. I mean it's like and I call you not servants, but friends. Right. So he left behind those men who are going to stand stiffly. Right. It says he that um, left. Uh, he left behind in him an avenger against his enemies and one that shall requite kindness to his friends. He that make it too much of his son shall bind up his wounds and his bowels will be troubled at every cry. Matter of fact, it was. um That was a point six. Now, um, to get back into the, 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 the meat of the lesson, it says benediction. The result of which is prosperity and good of every kind. <clears throat> it says, of him whom Yahweh hath blessed. Right? And the elect are blessed, man. They are blessed. Used of a man favored of Yahweh. Hey, as King David, man. Extremely fortunate and happy. Um, bountiful soul. Woo. I want to look up that word bountiful too. Matter of fact, I'm gonna look that word up now. One second, there we go. Bountiful. Look up. Generous, abundant. Um, beneficent. Charitable. And we know what the scriptures say about char charity, man. How char charity covers a, a um, abundant, how to say, charity covereth, it's like a multitude of sins. It says princely, whoo, that's the spirit. Hey, because we're, we're princes of the power, man, Yashar Allah. But I have this word benediction here. It says act of speaking well or blessing, invocation of divine blessing, right? Because the elect are going to receive that divine blessing due to their faithfulness unto Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, right? 
It says to speak well of. Let's see if we have any more. To show, to show favor. Right, because a hey, the Most High has a favorite within the favorite or a chosen within the chosen, right? It says um, to revere. Let's see if it has any more. The act of praying for divine protection. And who's the only one doing that? The elect, man. The elect are the only ones pay, praying for that divine protection in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Now, um, I want to grab another precept. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab this in the book of uh, Second Edges 2. Because this shows forth those who, um, that good name, who have that good name and who, who names are going to have that uh, legacy. The second edge is two and um, 42. And it reads the number, it's like it. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount of Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, right? And speaking of Yahweh Shai, and upon every one of their heads, he set crowns, right? Because those that received the crowns are who? They're, they're the elect, man. It says, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly, right? Even though uh, he was setting crowns upon their head, and he was still exalted more. It says, so I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing, right? What we just read in uh, 2nd Edges 15 chapter, and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Now are they crowned and received palms. Then said I unto the angel, what young person is that crowned them? And gives them palms in their hands. So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of the Most High, Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Right. So that commending even came from Ezra. It is that good name uh, said it would, man. That's why the good name is above precious ointment, man. Because you're leaving a legacy, a written of in the heavens. The scriptures say these are they who are written in a book, uh, written in the Lamb's book of life, man. These are the names of them that be found written in the Lamb's Book of Life, paraphrasing. Because what? They were faithful unto the end, man. They endured the hell and they were found faithful, which is which is the point of the lesson. A, our job and duty is to remain faithful throughout any and every circumstance in which Yahweh Bashim Yahushua brings us through. Because we know we're about to go through hell. But at the end of it, it is a legacy that's, that's a indescribable, man. It far exceeds the, the, the physical gifts in which Yahweh Bashim Shire is going to shower you with, man. You know, it comes with understanding that hey, you were the ones that made it through through great tribulation hey, and were caught up into the chariots, man. You know, of course, the scriptures say in my house are many mansions. If they were not, I would not have told you, man. But but you, 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 it will be stamped that you were beloved of Yahweh Bashim Shire, man. That you were faithful from the beginning. You know? That you were of the Allah Hayim. Whoo, man, that's that's beautiful. It says, so he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power that was seen, man. So the Lord has given us examples of men a who who were faithful in the face of adversity, man. And these men will receive of their crown in due time after Yahweh Shai gets his. You know? So I just want to bring this lesson out into the body. A hey, Lord willing it was edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakodash. A double honor is unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to you. I can bring out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.